So in this video, I'm going to show you how to balance ambient light and flash to create surreal images like this. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or even just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So once again, I am taking you behind the scenes in one of my engagement shoots and I will show you a particular layout that actually came about by accident. In other words, normally when I do my engagement shoots, I have an assistant photographer with me all the time. And that is the time that I am actually training them, teaching them the ropes and basically um, letting them experience an actual shoot and basically teaching them how to use flash photography also. Now, this particular scene, I actually told her at that time, it was a woman, I told her go to the end of the port and maybe shoot there since it was a really overcast day already and I wanted to see what she could actually do from it or try to get something from it. Then, while she was shooting, all of a sudden a rainbow appeared and the sky turned different. So I was like, okay, I gotta run I, I, and I wanted to shoot that scene and this is the layout that I am actually going to show you today. All right, so this is the actual layout that my assistant photographer was shooting. You could see that the sky was very gloomy. We weren't any getting any details in the highlights. Now, all of a sudden, the sky opened up. Now, it actually looked like this also, but the only reason why this one looked like this is because I underexposed the scene. So basically, when I arrived there and I saw this rainbow here and I saw the sky opening up, I knew immediately that I would need to over underexpose the scene in order for me to be able to bring out my highlight details. Now the camera that I had with me then was my Sony A7R Mark IV in a 16 to 35 f 2.8 GM lens, which was actually perfect for the image that I wanted to create. Now the light that I used was this one. This is my Sony F60RM. It's basically a battery operated speed light and it was modified using this one. This is the MagGrid and the MagMod MagSphere. Basically it attaches to each other via magnets here on top of the flash. And the nice thing about this MagSphere is that it spreads the light. Now it's so ironic actually that I'm gonna put a grid and to a modifier that's supposed to spread the light. But basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to spread the light but still contain the spread of the light. That's why I put a grid before the mag spear. So you can see here now, I got my, well here, I'll show you first. My initial exposure was my shutter speed was 1 over 250 F10 ISO 100. It was at 1 over 250 so that I can stay within my flash sync speed and get the most power out of my flash because if I shot this in high speed sync, I don't think this flash would have had enough juice to be able to light up the scene properly. So you can see here my initial exposure was F10. Then I actually, under, uh, I actually adjusted my exposure to F9 here while I was doing my light test so that I could bring out more of the detail here in the back. You can see here it's too dark. And here, I think this was the correct exposure. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I think a tad bit brighter would be better. However, this is the one of the test shots. Basically, you could see here, I am trying to balance now my ambient light and flash. Now, how do I do that? Basically, the moment that I have my ambient exposure set, I now adjust my flash power so that it looks seamless in other words it looks harmonious to the scene because one thing that i always try to go for is to make it seem or make it look as natural as possible even if i am using artificial light so here's the actual behind the scenes photo you can see here now i have my f60 rm on the magmod mag shoe with a mag sphere and here's the mag grid now this is actually my more or less final composition except for the fact that the rainbow is not here that's why i might i'll be panning left in the next images now you could uh, you'd probably see here i actually adjusted already my aperture to 7.1 because i wanted to bring in more light here in the background to be able to show more of these 
just to make the image alive. In other words, balance that ambient light and flash because sometimes you don't want to underexpose the scene too much because then it would look very obvious that you actually popped the flash. In this particular case, I wanted to create a very surreal image. And by creating a surreal image, then my light, my artificial light, shouldn't look as if it was there. In other words, I want it to look as natural again, as natural as possible. So that delicate balance between ambient light and flash is what I wanted to achieve. And finally, here is a shot from the side basically showing the entire scene of what the actual exposure really is. So you've noticed that if I did not underexpose my scene, none of the cloud details here in the back are seen as compared to this one. Look, this one's underexposed by about, I think about a stop underexposed or a stop and one third underexposed. This is the proper exposure shot by my assistant photographer. You could see the cloud details is gone. And here again is my Sony F60 RM. And of course with the MagMod uh, MagSphere and Grid here. So this is actually the final image before edit. I stuck with my 7.1 aperture, 1 over 250 again to, to stay within my flash sync speed. And I was able to recover the rainbow here, which was the real reason on why I actually ran to that scene in the first place. Now, you could see more or less the entire scene is still underexposed. However, it is underexposed evenly. In other words, my light has already balanced that of my existing ambient light and why am i still shooting underexposed because i know for my for a fact that my camera can easily recover my shadows more than my highlights so i was shooting to actually protect my highlights in this case the shadow or sorry the cloud detail here in the sky then this is the final processed image all i needed to do was really bring it up in post-production since i was shooting in raw shifted my white balance to warmer tone and this was the final image. So from here, straightened it out a little bit, got a little bit more light on them, removed all the distractions like this, um, this motor here and this area here. I removed that just to make it cleaner. Final exposure again, 1 over 250 f7.1 ISO 100 and therefore creating a very surreal image. So the key to this particular image was really the proper balance between ambient light and flash. Initially, my final image was a tad bit underexposed. However, the balance was there. And again, I did this pers uh, purposefully because I wanted to make sure that my highlights were intact because I knew very well it would be very easy for me to recover my shadows in post-production, in which case this was the final image. And again, I shot this with my Sony A7R Mark IV with a 16 to 35 wide angle lens my light was Sony F60RM with the MagMod MagSphere and the MagGrid installed. Okay, so if you have any questions with regards to this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you guys want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, more than what you're actually learning here in the channel, I do hold one-on-one -on -one online workshops, the details of which I will put in the description below. And don't forget, please do like this video and subscribe to this channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.